Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about flow and trigger concepts. Okay. So a lot of people are asking me what is the difference between flow and trigger. Okay. So for them, I'm making this video. It will be very useful if you go to the interview as well. This concept will be very very important. Okay. So first we will see reason not to use trigger over flow. Okay. So what is the reason some of the people are not using trigger over first topic and second one is the trigger are powerful overflow even though the flow is like a point uh, like a tool but the trigger is very powerful so let's see how it will be you know, powerful and uh, third concept is difference between flow and trigger okay so now first we'll discuss about reason not to use flow over uh, trigger overflow okay the main reason that the user will avoid the trigger is that they don't know the coding, okay? And they're not affordable to pay the amount to the Salesforce developer, okay? This is the first point you can see. The main reason that the user will not, will avoid the trigger is that they don't know how to write the code or don't have the budget to pay a developer to build a trigger. So this is the first point. Okay, and second one is like uh, another reason for using no code option is that for simple automation flow are easier and faster to create and deploy. So compared to trigger, uh, the flow is very easy to create and we can able to deploy into the other environment. But if you take the trigger, if you take the trigger, we need to cover the code coverage as well, and the scenario should all the scenario fast, fast or negative scenario should be covered in the test classes. So it should be very complicated in the coding wise. Okay, so I will tell you the first point: the they don't know the coding and how to, and they don't have budget to pay the amount to the developer. This is the first point. And second point is like uh, the flow is very simple. They easily they can create. Anyone can create, and without coding knowledge, also uh, administrator also can create, and uh, easily we can deploy into the production. But if you come to the trigger part, it, it is very complicated to write the logic because they should know the um, coding knowledge and the, all the test scenario and everything should be covered. Okay, so this is the second point. Th these are the main reason using, using flow over trigger. Okay. And second topic is trigger are powerful over flow. So even though e uh, flow is like a fine, like a simple automation tool, but trigger is more powerful. Why means they are also fire after the undeleting the record. Okay, when the after and the undelete functionality we cannot do in the flow, we can able to do only in the uh, trigger only we can able to do. So first point. So second point is like a, if we use flow, it the flow will execute more slowly and use more CPU time than the Apex trigger. Okay, so if you same task we can take on the CPU time limit and the processing time will be take more time in the flow, but in the trigger it will be less time and it will, it will be the optim the coding should be optimized basically if you take in the flow. Okay, this is the second point and third point. So if you run some bulk operation, okay, for example, if you want to process the two uh, two hundred records at that time the flow will be go go slowed down and the testing will be very complicated in the flow in the bulk operation okay so we need to create the 200 records in the flow then only we can able to process and check but if it's in the apex class it is very easy we can write everything in the um, we can do it in the trigger at test class then it, it, it easily we can able to test this scenario okay and third one is, uh, yeah, is similar to the to testing, it will be very difficult. Okay, so I will, uh, I'm repeating the again for the triggers are powerful overflow concept. First one is the underlying functionality we cannot do. And second one is the, uh, and the flow will be take more CPU time limit and uh, more uh, and go slow down. Okay. And uh, the third point is like, uh, the, it, it will be consume uh, um, the bulk operation functionality. Now, if you have some more kind, more records we need to test at the time, the flow will be very complicated. Okay, so now we'll see the difference between flow and trigger. So first point, coding knowledge is not required to use the flow. On the trigger, the coding knowledge is required. 
and second point is flow are easier and faster to create and deploy okay EDB, anyone can create and deploy and here need to create the test class and code coverage should be covered for the all the scenarios 75 percent should be code coverage should be there and the flow will execute more slowly and use more cpu time limit and the triggers very fast and less cpu time only okay so uh, the affects take from the same task similarly this is the third point and fourth point is like uh, uh, already discussed like a uh, uh, complex flow can also be difficult to test you will need to bulk create a record using data load tool to see how the flow responds it need to be run more 200 record but if the apex trigger well written code we can we can write the flow code in the test class and we can avoid this uh, we can easily test this scenario okay so i hope you have understand the concept now uh, reason um, not reason not use trigger overflow and uh, second topic is triggers are powerful overflow and third one is a flow trigger difference between these two okay so if you have any doubt just feel free to comment in the bottom so i will reply to you okay thank you thanks for watching